Hey everyone. Welcome back to TechEd. Today, let's get to know about microelectromechanical systems, or simply, MEMS. These microsystems are categorized under mechatronics. They are miniaturized mechanical and electromechanical elements, made by microfabrication techniques. The range of dimension of the individual components ranges from 1 to 100 microns, and the system as such, range from 20 micrometers to a few millimeters. MIMS are made using basic fabrication techniques of microelectronics. Thin layers of materials are deposited onto the base, and then, are selectively etched away leaving a microscopic three-dimensional structure. In this way MIMS technology construct mechanical and electrical components, electrical elements process data, and the mechanical element act in response to these data. A general MIMS system has functional elements such as microsensors, microactuators, microelectronics and microstructures. The microsensors detects input from physical surrounding and converts measured mechanical signal into electrical signals. These signals are processed and stored within microelectronics, such as in microprocessors, and converts them into useful data. Microactuators are devices that convert electrical signals received from microelectronics to perform desired work through highly controlled movement. Microstructures form the structural basis for the working and are built onto the chip. The potential for MIMS technology is enormous. MIMS technology are already used in wide range of products across industries. The MIMS-based accelerometer is used for the deployment of airbags. Navigation sensor system, fuel level and vapor pressure sensors are a few of the MIMS devices used in automobiles. They are used in prosthetics, blood pressure sensors and implanted sensors in the medical field. For surveillance and aircraft control for national defenses. They are extensively used in electronic and communication fields as disk drive heads, for mass storage, and, in high-speed communications. To number a few advantages, we know that very less materials and energy is required for the production and working of these systems. They are easily integrated into electronic circuits, and offer higher sensitivity and selectivity compared to their macro counterparts. And as of the disadvantages or limitations of MIMS technology, is that the design and fabrication is a difficult task, since it includes complex procedure, and require highly skilled or specialized workforce. The initial investment or cost to sustain a MIMS fabrication farm, is very high. NEMS or nano-electromechanical systems, form the next logical miniaturization from the MIMS technology, integrating mechanical and electrical functionality at the nanoscale. The future scope of these technology are vast. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up, thank you.